correlation. So correlation is a statistic that measures the degree to which two variables, two variables in a relation to each other. On your left side is variable 1. On your right side is variable 2. So this correlation, we want to see how strongly pair of these variables are related. So on the other words, we want to test the interrelation. So what you need to know about correlation, number one, the most common statistic used in correlation is Pearson product moment because we have a lot of correlation statistic but the most common statistic used is Pearson product moment. So this Pearson product moment is also known as a correlation coefficient and this correlation coefficient is expressed as a small r italic next the value of r of correlation analysis or correlation coefficient is between negative 1 to positive 1 so if we have positive value of r it means that both variable 1 and 2 move in the same direction for example the increase in variable 1 will increase variable 2 variable 1 increase variable 2 increase negative value of r means that uh, the variable move at opposite direction for example variable 1 increase variable 2 decrease number 5 the relationship of these two variables is described as a strong or weak. So it depends on the result between negative 1 to positive 1. Next, uh, this is very important to remember that correlation measure only linear relationship. Linear relationship means that we want to see a straight line. Limitation of this correlation. The first limitation. Data with outlier make correlation statistic misleading because of this extreme value. So before we conduct any uh, correlation analysis, we need to delete this outlier. Number two. Limited number of observation so makes the correlation statistic less useful and accurate inaccurate because less number involved in analysis we cannot um, produce a decision that are biased to a small number next this correlation because it measure linear line so correlation ignore non-linear or curve linear because not all data are linear human have unique interests preferences culture attitude and behavior for example demand and supply of certain products depends on certain season so we cannot produce a linear line next high correlation means that perfect correlation are often tautological. Tautological means that the data are redundant and repetitive. So if we have this kind of repetitive data, our results are inaccurate. Next, how to interpret correlation analysis. So this is a result produced and analyzed in Microsoft Excel. Okay, first of all, write our title so this is our title correlation analysis of price sales data in record small r so the results this is the results negative 0 0.91271 so how to write a report number one introduce variables and number of observation number two 
set significance value where our p is less than 0.05. Number three, create a trend line and scatter plot chart to support our justification. Lastly, explain about correlation value. So your report should be like this. This is the results. And this is the rule of thumb interpretation table. So how to write a report? Number one, the table above shows a correlation analysis between price and sales data if you write in a Microsoft Word. Number two, the significance value is at P less P equal P less than 0 0.05. Number three, the correlation coefficient analysis shows that there is a very strong negative correlation. So our result is 0 0.9, 0 0.9 like located at very strong. However, we have a negative sign. So therefore, we say, we can say uh, there is a very strong negative correlation between price and sales where R equal in bracket negative 0 0.91. And this is supported by trend lines and scatter plot chart. As the price increase, sales decrease. So, when the price is low, sales is high. When the price increase, sales are decreasing. <music>